Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VSPHA Deep Dive Troubleshooting Part 2. And here is the agenda. What are the VSPHA possible host failure scenarios? And what will happen when your HA subordinate host fails? And what will happen when the HA master host fails? And what is the VSPHA master election procedure? These four questions we can observe now. And what are the VSPHA possible host failure scenarios? There are two possible scenarios. And for our easy understanding, I took the six ESX hosts within our HA cluster, and we have six ESX hosts, and this is a healthy VSPA HA cluster, and running with one master and five subordinatory ESX host. We can say it's a subordinate host, slave host, or secondary host. Any name we can say. Okay, but within the six ESX hosts, we have one master ESX host and five subordinate ESX host. So the host failure scenarios are only two scenarios. One scenario, either master host fail, that is one scenario, and second scenario is any one of the secondary host also fail. That is the second scenario. So in the interviewer may ask any scenario like vSphere master host fail or vSphere subordinate host fail. So if the secondary host is not communicating through management network and storage heartbeats, that is the first scenario. And second scenario is if your master, that means primary host is not communicating through management network and storage heartbeats. This is the second scenario. I will explain you each scenario one by one. So what will happen when we spear HA subordinate host fails? So as discussed, one is master, five subordinate ESX host. So the scenario is one subordinate host is failed now. So what will happen is the issue is here, the secondary is not communicating through the management network and storage heartbeats. And the same scenario, what will happen is master declares subordinate host is down or dead. In general, it will wait for first for your 15 second, second 15 seconds. At the time of third 15 seconds, it decides that our secondary host is down. Okay, so immediately it VMs. That means this specific ESX host VMs are restarted on other surviving host in the cluster. So within the cluster, wherever the resources are available, in that specific host, it will migrate. Sometime it may migrate to master, sometime it may migrate to other ESX host. So this is done by the master. Okay, the decision maker is master ESX host. Okay, hope you clear about the subordinate host fail scenario. Now, what will happen when a HA master host fail? So this is also expected behavior. When HA master also down, there may be a, some communication issue between our subordinate host to master host. And immediately we'll have a another secondary ESX host become as a master. So new master host elected and resumes master duties. Master duty means whenever any one host is down, all the VMs migrate to another host. That duties is taken care by new master ESXi host. Okay, so here the issue is master is not communicating through the management network and also the storage heartbeats. So solution is master is considered as failed and immediately a new master is elected and it reads the protected list file. That list file is taken from the through the HA agent. It will capture the protected list file. So all the VMs listed on the protected list file. That means the master host, whatever the associated VMs, all the VMs list from the protected list file. It will gather the list of VMs that is not running or restarted on other surviving host in the cluster. That is how the new master duties performed. Okay. And now what is the VSPA HA master election procedure on which basis the master is elected? So as we know, we have a six ESX host in our cluster. One is the master, but selecting the master. Usually there is a three scenarios. A master is elected when the following conditions occur. The first condition is VSPA HA is enabled 
when we enable vSphere HE in our cluster, it will configure a one master and remaining all are a secondary ESX host. That is the one scenario. Second scenario, a master host to fail, even master host to fail also, another any one of the ESX host acts as a new master role. That is the second scenario. And third scenario, a management network portion occurs. Let's say our master host is running fine, but network is somehow our master host is isolated or separated from the other ESX host network. That time also we may get the new master ESX host. Okay. And the, how it is electing the master host is the following algorithm is used for selecting the master. So if a host has the greatest number of data stores, whichever the host consists of more number of data stores, it is the best host. And if there is a tie, then the more host with the lexically highest managed object ID, highest managed object ID short form MOID is chosen. And for example, MOID host is 99 would be higher than MOID 100. Since 9 is the greater than 1, so it will select the host. Because uh, based on the MOID also, it will choose the, uh, it will elect the master. Okay. And after the master is elected, and contacts vCenter, vCenter sends the compatibility list to master and which saves it on its local disk and then pushes it, pushes it out to the secondary host in the cluster. Okay. Now vCenter server normally only talks to the master. It, it will sometimes talk to FDM agents in uh, on other hosts, especially if the master states that it cannot reach the subordinate agent. It's like uh, even in our uh, office also, if you, are, if you are working for a VMware virtualization team, normally managers will talk to the team lead. And if the team lead is not available, they will talk to the other team members. Same way, our vCenter server also, usually it will talk to the master host. And in case of master host is not available, it will talk to the FDM agents. That means secondary host, it will talk. Okay. And vCenter will try to contact other hosts to figure out why master host is down. Okay. This is how the master election procedure, even in the sum of the interviews, you may expect this question. How the vSphere HA master election procedure, you can explain these three algorithms. One is greatest number of data store and another is based on the MOAD, managed object ID. Okay. Hope you clear about the vSphere HA host failure scenarios. We have two scenarios. One is master host scenario, another one subordinate host failure scenario. And the third point, we talk about the master election procedure. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. Please do view, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Grand Cloud Garage. If you are already subscribed, thanks for your support. Bye for now.